It was a call to action for more support from the province. The Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation held a rally on March 24th outside EC Jury School for the Deaf in Milton. With parents, students and union members carrying no cuts to education flags and signs. David Sykes is the district officer for PSAT, the provincial school's authority teachers. Sykes says they are fed up with the government's lack of funding. Uh, we've, we've had a decade of calling for staffing to meet the basic needs of our students and the ministry has not taken action so we're really hoping that you know they're going to they're going to take some some uh, significant action including uh, offering the occasional teachers a competitive wage. The Ministry of Education in Ontario recently highlighted more than 1.6 billion dollars allotted for the 2021-22 school year. However, according to Sykes, not much of those funds seem to be reaching specialty schools like EC Jury. The reality is they put 19.2 million into the deaf and blind schools in this province in, uh, two years ago and that was increased to 20 million and 230,000. Represents less about 1% increase which doesn't account for the cost of inflation. PSAT District 30 President Tamara Witcher was at the rally as well. She says one of the major issues the school is facing centers around staffing. Here in this school, you know, 25% of our teachers have been reduced in terms of staffing. And we have teachers that have left, have retired, and they haven't been replaced. There haven't been any hires. So really, 25% is significant. What is also significant, according to Witcher and Sykes, is the aging infrastructure they say affects their students. The Ford government has uh, reduced the funding for our infrastructure, for renovations, and for example, the pool has been closed for four years here. Parents, when they walk into our school, they feel like they're stepping in in 1970, and that's unfortunate. It should feel like a modern place that's, that's in balance. Meanwhile, in speaking with some of the parents and students at this rally, they all agree that they want more representation and recognition. We need representation so that people can know what um, our deaf students want. We know what's best for our deaf schools and deaf students. How can hearing people at those tables, the ministry tables and at senior management, know what our students need? How? How could they possibly know? I, I would like to see more deaf students come here. Deaf students, I want more promotion of the school. I want more hiring of staff that are qualified. Um, you know, I, 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 and I'm proud, I'm proud to be deaf. I don't want to be the only one. I want to be two, three. I want, I want to see role models here at this school. Yeah, I agree. Like deaf can do anything that hearing people can do. The only thing that's different about me is that I just can't hear, but I could do anything that you can do. Well, the demands of the organizers of this rally and the parents that attended today are very clear. Less cuts, more resources. But the organizers have also told me that this is not the end, but the beginning of many more rallies to come. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Joseph Ryan.